वेलकम बैक न्यूज जस्ट कमिंग इन डेज आफ्टर ओडिशा ट्रेन ट्रेजेडी द ट्रिपल ट्रेन ट्रेजेडी प्रोमिनेंट मेंबर्स ऑफ सिविल सिविल सोसाइटी इंक्लूडिंग रिटायर्ड जजेस आर्मी वेटरन सिविल सर्वेंट्स हैव रिटन टू प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी दिस इज एन ओपन लेटर दैट दे हैव रिटन मेघना डेटा सीनियर एडिटर नाउ जॉइनिंग अस फॉर मोर ऑन दैट इन दिस लेटर द civil servants the retired civil servants uh, prominent members of civil society have said that balasor tragedy could be work of sabotage and have demanded that the truth can be uncovered only through cbi probe the other prominent demand in this letter by former civil servants is that they have said that illegal immigrants who squat near railway lines must be removed megna has the copy of the letter yes megna Well yes Pranesh this is the letter that we have it says that we are a group of concerned citizens they are retired civil servants as well as officers of the armed forces and they are saying that it is due to our work and we have gained vast experience in the area of national security we have no doubt that under your able stewardship this nation is going to be advancing very fast then it says some of us who have worked in counter insurgency have faced such situations of sabotage on the smooth plying of railway network there are similar well planned attempts by the terrorists to disrupt railway networks in these vulnerable areas leading to sabotage derailment civilian casualties in one of the cases in jammu and kashmir we even witnessed multiple attacks on railway tracks from pathan court to jammu in the 1990s and early 2000s where the tracks were severely damaged catastrophic accidents had stopped only after proper deployment was made then it goes on to say in our view uh, the entire railway network is vulnerable and particularly so in eastern and northeastern states including the so called chickens neck it is imperative that illegal squatters along the railway tracks including illegal immigrants be moved and stringent measures be taken to secure the safety of the railway tracks we are confident that the cbi is going to identify the perpetrators but the reason why all of this is very significant remember the signatories uh, for example the uh, vikram singh dr vikram singh he is one of uh, he is the former dgp of uttar pradesh and several others like sp vaid ips officer and others who have worked actively when it comes to counter insurgency they are saying that there are several immigrants illegal immigrants who are residing by these tracks especially in the east and the north east the chickens neck that's the area where the railway tracks are very susceptible to terror attacks and there they have listed what could be done what should be done in order to ensure that the tracks are safer pranesh mohit uh, megna thanks for taking us through the contents of the letter uh, some of the signatories uh, we are trying to get in touch with them mohit uh, but also joining us live mohit good evening uh, what do you make of this uh, is this an answer to all those people who been going after the government because uh, they are saying that this could be a work of sabotage But Pranesh, this letter is very, very important given the fact the signatories are former IPS officers and including army veterans and various members of the civil society, including the judges. Now, these IPS officers and the army veterans have uh, served uh, in the counter-insurgency operations, specifically in Jammu and Kashmir and Northeast. Uh, for example, Mr. S. P. Verdi, who has been, uh, who had been the uh, DGP of Jammu and Kashmir, and he has been part of various such counter-insurgency methods. Now, what this, in this particular letter they highlight is that. Uh, in in early 90s the this kind of this kind of attack on the railway and the railway tracks were very common now the terrorists wanted to sabotage the railway fun smooth functioning of railways because you see railway is the lifeline of the country the goods the army personnel and everything that the country needs is being supplied through the railways and hence they say that they believe like, that the cbi thoughts are we have one of the signatories pravin dikshit needs no introduction senior ips officer former dgp maharashtra mr dikshit good evening this is pranesh uh, you are also one of the signatories in this letter why did you feel the need for such a letter sir now you see as you have rightly pointed out the railways is uh, such a crucial thing which uh, the safety of the railway tracks is extremely important you can imagine in uh, places like uh, mumbai or any of the metropolitan uh, places the railway land has been considered as if it belongs to nobody and all the jhuggi jhopdi all the illegal activities they are flourishing today when the railways are requiring to expand their network in a safe manner are we able to do it that is the critical question and if we are not able to do it the uh, local politicians they immediately interfere in the matter and uh, dictate that uh, no no these fellows should not be removed 
these fellows should not and uh, what these fellows are doing there is no control on anybody that is the reason we are saying that uh, railways being a national property it is critical that uh, it must be kept in the most uh, safe manner so that the passengers as well as anybody traveling feels confident you may recall there have been several incidents in uh, maharashtra particularly between pune and mumbai when uh, the uh, persons in the uh, nearby areas they have thrown the stones on the railways and as a result we have, there is a famous uh, actor in uh, maharashtra dr shriram lagu his son got killed because of this uh, stone pelting so these kind of incidents they take place so that can be prevented if uh, the railway tracks are kept in a safe and uh, in a completely uh, secure manner right that is why we thought that the prime minister has uh, taken a proper lead and we are sure that the tracks in the course of time will uh, be a safe place to travel okay mr dikshit thank you for uh, speaking to times now we have another signatory dr vikram singh former dgp uttar pradesh uh, uh, who sent a message uh, let's play it out more than 270 signatories of this letter they would include 14 former judges 11 former ambassadors and 141 senior civil servant veterans as also many illustrious army officers and other officers of the armed forces this would indicate the grave concern that we the citizens of india have for the security of our motherland and we request just one thing absolute and total security of mother india jai hind jai bharat there should be no politics uh, about the triple train tragedy that's the message really mohit uh, of this letter written to the prime minister yes pranesh Well, yes, Pranesh, and we have seen from past many days since the uh, the government announced that there will be a CBI inquiry in this particular case, and we also know that other FIR has been registered. The opposition party, specifically the Congress, they are attacking the government and the Prime Minister, saying that well, with the sabotage angle, the government is trying to shift the blame, and they want to divert from the uh, improper functioning of the Indian railways. And whole lot of politics is going on in this issue. Now, Pranesh, we also need to understand the people who have signed this particular letter. Of uh, uh, many of them are former DGPs. Uh, former army veterans they have served in those areas where the terrorists or the militants try to try to hamper and sabotage the railway lines and this has been clearly mentioned in this particular letter so they basically say that this happens judges uh, uh, they basically said there should be no politics and a thorough investigation should take place and that is perhaps why the center has given the inquiry to the cbi right. but pranesh unfortunately the politics is continuing on this particular issue even the opposition parties are not uh, not not stopping Hopefully till the, the time class, uh, the uh, will rise above politics uh, at least uh, on an issue like this uh, that the thanks for joining us with your inputs we are